below here. Let's just go down. What's below. app div? It's a div. So if you go to the index.html, there's an app, there's an, a div with an ID of app, and they selected it for you. So that's app div. Okay. So we go down below, and I want you to type request animation frame with a capital A and a capital F. Yep. What's request animation frame? Ah, see, this is the first thing you need to know about animations. Request animation frame tells the browser, hey, I want to schedule this function to be run. Um, so close, Tracy. You need an arrow function inside of there. Like uh, an empty arrow function? Yep, just, you can just do an empty arrow function for now. Yep. So you're basically, this is telling the browser, hey. you got to tell me when to put the spaces in and when not to. Uh, you got to do spaces around the arrow. Yep, now you do curly braces. Because it's returning an object. Yeah, no, it's not even returning an object. There's, this is a function body. So go down to the next line. We're going to add some code. And we'll just say app div. Wait, what's a function body? So if it's in curly braces, it's just a regular function? Yeah, if, if, if after an arrow, the curly brace says open the function body, and the other curly brace says close the function body. The... But then if you do parens, then you can have multiple functions chained together. If you do no, if you do parens around your around your curly braces, then it's an object. Oh, if parens, you do parens around your curly braces is an object? Yeah, parens is a command that says, hey, evaluate everything oh, inside it, of here it. first and then do whatever's next. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so we're gonna say like let, let's do app div dot uh, well, we don't, we don't, do we have a... Do we need to create something? Mm, well, for now, I'll just say app div dot... Um, oh, I know, I know. Up on line seven, do like let i equals zero. Why let? Not const, let, because we're going to change i every you know, over and over again. Oh my god, explain let and const then. Const doesn't let you change uh, what i is, is storing, let does. Other than that, there's no difference. What about var? Var is like YOLO territory. It not only it acts like let, but it basically says it's declared in the whole body of everything. So yeah. Anyways, don't do var. Don't ever do var, or and don't do var in general. As, as a general rule, don't use var. There are certain like tiny use cases where you want to use var, but for the most part, don't use var. Um, all right. So why is i zero? And what is i? I is just a counter, and we're gonna we're gonna increment it over and over again. Okay. All right. So here's the now here's what we're gonna do. Um, let me think about this. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Go go out to line nine, and we're gonna create a new function. So it's like function whatever. Say function animate, we'll call it. And we'll open and close it, and then curly braces. And inside of there, we're going to say um, app div dot style dot top equals. We need space around the equals. Uh, and this is going to be i plus plus space plus and then the string px so this is incrementing i so it starts at zero and then we go to one then two and then three and so on and we're, we're saying so one pixel two pixel three pixel four pixel and so are on. we going to make it go bigger now we're just moving it and then here like close that off with the with uh semicolon go to the next line and then call Request animation frame, and then uh, parens, and then put, just put the just put animate inside of it. Just the word animate. You don't even need the yeah. Perfect. Because you're passing yeah. animate as the argument, and this is what it's doing. Yep. But now, I don't get why it's here. Because uh, it's going to recursively call itself. So okay. now I'll go down and delete line 15 through 17. I was directing you wrong there. And just call it animate the function. So just say animate and call it. Perfect. Now we need to go do one other thing. Go to our index.html. We have to add some styles to our 
app ID. Actually, we can do it in style.css, it looks like. So add a line after three and do pound sign app. And then curly braces, because we're doing some styling. And say position colon absolute. Why? So we're, it's absolute position, see? Woohoo! So it's just going to move down forever. So what that's doing is there's an animation frame. And every animation frame, you're telling it to move another pixel. So it's just slowly moving down pixel by pixel, OK? OK, hold on. So let me just look at that. So style top is 0. So you're basically saying top, the div at the top starts at 0 pixels and then right, that's how f the top is how far down from the top it is because you're absolutely positioning it. Yeah. Do I say bottom? Okay. So if I say top, okay, so top and then it's one pixel, two pixel, three pixel, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then what's request animation frame animate? So request animation frame, all it does is it tells the browser, hey, I'm about to change something that's going to change how you render this. Will you please schedule a special job that runs this code and then afterwards re-render? So request animation frame, this is just like a loop that every now and then goes. So and how says, can I be like, I want it to go up and down? I just want it to like shake a little bit. Shake a little bit? All right. So, so, go, I++. so just for fun, wrap I++ mm -hmm. in like math dot. So do math dot sign. Math is capitalized. Yeah. S I N. See, now it's jiggling. Why? Because it's it's applying the trigonometry sign function to this. Oh number. hell no. That's a lot of math. Yep, welcome to animations. But if I only wanted to do it like three times? If you only wanted to do three times, then you would have to figure out... Um, this is hard. Yep. How do you make it easier? You can't. What? Okay, so tell me how to I mean, make it only do it three times. There's some libraries that might help, but um, let's see. How to make it do it only three times. Uh, you could stop it after timer, but right. So anyways, Tracy, this is, I wanted to show you that this is what's happening under the hood. Okay. Okay. So let's go to dependencies. Add RxJS. I uh, know. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Perfect. Five dot five. Yeah. So let's actually kill that and do RxJS add RC. Okay, okay, I'm loving stack splits. Uncanny! It's uncanny, Ben. Yeah, it's uncanny. Wait, U O P Q R S T U V. How about voracious? Voracious? Then I'm V O. Can it be like V A? Because I might have to do another V. I'm going to run out of letters. <laughs> um, all right, so now import. Uh, let's see what we're going to import. We're going to import uh, interval. Not, it's not Whoa, what the hell? Maybe. I don't know what I was doing there, sorry. And, um, yeah, from RxJS. Also import from RxJS, add uh, animation frame scheduler. No, 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 the same line. Like, we only, yeah. Oh, because it's six. Yeah. God. That's the one. Now, here's what we're going to do. You can delete this stuff down here, because we're going to do something similar. Don't even need that poop anymore. Then I'm gonna so don't need all the poop. Of it? Don't del delete all the poop. The poop has been deleted. All right. Now we're gonna say uh, interval zero. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Interval in parens zero comma animation frame scheduler. Oh. So we're calling interval and we're passing zero and then animation frame. No, inside the parens. We're passing two arguments zero and animation frame scheduler. So now you have this observable of like animation frames. Wait, you didn't like, how did you create an observable? Interval creates an observable. 
You don't be like Rx dot interval. Nope. Why? Because you imported it, it's just interval up here. Oh. Oh, because like in your class, when you have to destructure everything, it's because you're just importing all of RxJS or something like that. Yep. But here you just okay, got it. And then. So then after that, do dot pipe. Now let's go import the map operator. So import map from no, not yet. No, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. So good. And we're gonna map that. So that's just gonna be like a number, which is basically our frame. So we can say frame uh, to what? No, not to just frame and then uh, arrow function. Arrow, yep. We, for now, we can just do math dot sign frame. So this is just going to get us started, and then what's it complaining about? Hover over it. I feel like this is the easiest shit for you. I'm just Let's like, see. yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna be half asleep doing Let's this. See. It's cool. The unary function observable number observable number is not assignable to operator function. Wait, what? Yeah, it is. Source and source are incompatible. Can I see this real quick? Observable of number. See it's how properly source and compatible. Observable any is not assignable to observable any. What? I don't know why it's saying that. Maybe because we imported which is twice here. Let me um so let's save this and just like reload the page. Yeah, it must have just been stuck, but it's freaking out. Okay. Because we imported all the types from the old RxJS, and it was freaking out. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, on line 12, uh, uh, actually, uh, I'm going to subscribe to the observable, so yeah, out there. I'll subscribe, and we'll say that that is y, and then do arrow function. What's y? Uh, they we're just they we're just saying that it's a y at the y position. Okay. And we'll do um, app div dot style dot top. Dude. Equals. Hard. So this you have to know. This is the DOM. So you're saying this is our div. We want to change something that's in the style of the div, and we want to change the top. And there we're gonna say y. Plus. plus then the string px. So we've got our jiggle again, right? So let's make this a let's make the jiggle a little bigger and do sign like right here, like right in between those two parens. Right after frame paren. Mm -hmm. Do multiply that. No, no, not even a comma, just multiply it. Yep, by like multiply by like fifty. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it's getting pretty crazy. Um, so that that makes it that'll make it bigger. So so this is like the height. So let's do fifty, and then that'll slow it down, and we'll go to frame and divide that by a hundred. So if you want to speed it up, you would change that to a lower number. Ew! I hate that you just know these things though. How would I even know how to do this? That's why I keep telling you animation is kind of hard. So let's change this to a lower number. Let's change this to like, oh, like 10 or 50. Yeah, yeah. So. This is like really exciting. I'm <laughs> glad. So let's let's change it to 10. Ding, 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 so this is ding, a, we're doing like a sine wave sort of ding, thing, right? Ding, ding, yeah. Wait, what are the other waves I forgot? Cosine? Uh, cosine, yeah. It, it'll look very similar. No, it's just co, co COS. 
And then there's tan. You can try that one. Oh, that. A-tan. A-tan. <laughs> that doesn't like it. Yeah. So, oh, you can kind of see si it going on. Sine and cosine are more exciting. Yeah, so, all right. So there's that. Okay. And um, we, wanted, we wanted to do it only three times. So we can cheat. Uh-huh. And we can say, like... Timer. Where's the timer? Do I input timer? Timer? Uh, yeah. Or you, you can cheat and say timer or... Um, Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah, I, well, let me think about it. I'm just trying to think, like, how can we make sure that it only does it three times? Yeah, I guess, I guess, two timer. Okay. And then you also want to do take until. Oops. Very good. <laughs> All right, so you just, what, take until? Yeah, don't forget the comma chain. Oh, God, yes. See? See? The comma chaining. <laughs> All right. I'm going to Take until what? Um, timer. And then put in, like, you, know, you have to adjust it to whatever you prefer. So yep. It's a thousand one. One second might not be what you want. <laughs> hey, what's take until? So take until just tells this says, hey, whenever this timer fires once, mm -hmm. uh, which it always only fires once, I want you to uh, complete the observable. Okay, so whenever the timer fires once, I want you to complete the observable. Yep. And then you do have to do like this dot interval dot unsubscribe? Uh, nope. Why? You don't have to do anything like that. Why? Why, why aren't you unsubscribe? Uh, you, because this unsubscribes for, unsubscribes for you. Oh, take and tell. Yeah. The operator unsubscribes for me. Yeah. All right, so check this out. Now, mm -hmm. let's take the subscribe. Uh, not, don't delete the subscribe. Just uh, return it down a couple lines. Okay. And then... Um, Ooh, 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 I've got a better one. Instead of uh, moving it down a couple lines, take it and move it inside the pipe and change the word subscribe to tap. So on line 13, you want us to say tap. That's the first thing. We're doing a tap. I lost my pants. Let me make sure you import it. And then, so now I want you to, on line 10, say const um, up, down, or something like that. Equals. That's your up, down animation. Mm -hmm. And now uh, do go up here and import uh, concat right after timer. What's concat? It's, gonna, it, it's able to play observables uh, one at a time, back to back. So now let's go down and we'll we'll uh, copy paste this whole thing. Mm -hmm. and do it like paste it down here and call it left right or something. Okay, and then we're gonna change this to X instead of Y. Nope, you're so close. Well, that'll do. I was gonna say style dot. I'd do style dot left. Because it's on the left side, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. And then um, now go down, like add some lines down here, mm -hmm. and say concat, and then open paren, uh, up, down, comma, left, right. And you're concatenating to observables. Yep. And now subscribe to that. Just subscribe to it. You can just call subscribe by itself. There you go. Wait, wait, wait for it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that makes you happy. I mean, doesn't that make you wait, happy? Wait, 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 wait. Now, 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 now. Do right, right after this. So they'll put these on different lines so we can do more. So do like up, down, and then put in a new line. 
Mm -hmm. Put up down on a new line too. Yeah. And then just up down left right, up uh, down left right. Oh my god, move them over. Oh my god. <laughs> like up down, up down, and left right need to be. Yeah. No, I was gonna do something better. Okay, hold on. Alright, sorry, it's just, okay. All right. All right. Move the parens down. What? The paren after left, right. Move oh. it down. On it's its really line. like you're sh You're almost shaking because you're so upset about the parens. Okay. Now, I want you to import merge right after concat. So do comma merge. Now, go to after left, right, do comma, then merge. Open paren, new line, up, down, comma, new line, left, right. And now wait, 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 wait for it. So we go up and down. We go left and right, and then, and then wait, wait. We go that way. <laughs> now, because you're merging two that. observables, and it's doing this. Tap, like yeah. Watch this. Change this to COS. Change the cosine instead. You like this even better. So up, down, left, right, and then let's get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and how happy does that make you? <laughs> Maybe a little too happy. Wait, so how come you use the tap right here? So tap causes a side effect. and in, in this case, the side effect is the actual act of animating the thing. So each one of these observables is an actual animation. Mm -hmm. And down here, we're, we're using concat and merge to coordinate them. <sighs> this makes me very sad. Why? Because it's so awesome. And now I want to do it with this. Right, well, dun, dun, dun! Go back. We're, we're still playing with this. We're not done okay, yet. Okay, okay, fine. But I'm so excited. I want to move on. Please, hey. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. What, what, what else can we do with animate? Okay, okay, I'm ready. I'm, I'm just going to shut up. All right, well, let's, now let's make it spin. <sighs> like forever? For however long you want it to spin, lady. But it was spinning. All we have to do is just take this out. No, no. I mean, twist. Oh, like. Like what? Just go down to line, <laughs> line twenty-one. <laughs> add a couple spaces. And say const twist equals. And then you just got to do that exactly up. So that's going to give us our. So interval. zero is it starts at zero. Why do you use zero? Uh, that just says to use an animation frame right now. Um, and then we're going to map, and we're not going to do cosine this time. Mm -hmm. In fact, we'll just leave, we're not going to map with that at all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Let's just let's just take, uh, copy the tap line out. Just copy the tap line down. Yeah. So it's just going to start an animation. Uh, yeah, but you're okay. going to like this. And then here, say style dot rotate and then change px to deg change px to deg and then after go down to your concat down here oh wait you you took it out you took stuff out of concat for some reason that's fine you just do just do twist add twist right there so it'll run twist first comma so working Oh, 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 you don't uh, have I know. Any... Do style dot um, translate. Or trans. Is it translate? Yeah, translate. And then in here, let's make this uh, a template, a string template that are all instead. Like just the delete whole thing? the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not how you do it. Uh, uh, so do like a. Like kill that. Kill the whole. Yeah, back tick. Oh, sorry. And type, Object. And type rotate. Middle. Parens. Dollar sign. Curly braces. X. And then deg. 
Right here. Yeah, no, no, after, outside of that. Yeah, yeah, right there. DG. Close friends. I think this is it. Negative. Hold on, hold on, hold on. CSS rotation. So how come you have to, like... So how come, like... So this interval creates a new observable, right? And then... You're just taking that observable and you're like not, but you're like not adding an animation to it and you're just uh, creating a side effect. Change translate to transform. I don't get that. Why can't you just automatically tap? There you go. Look at that. And it's okay. Right now it's just going to go forever because we're not doing a take until. Okay, so do we tap first and then take and tell, or we do take and tell? Uh, it doesn't actually matter where you do the take and tell. Oh, because, so, tell me again. So take and tell is basically it'll subscribe to that observable until the timer is done. Right. But like, what can you? What other things can you say inside of? <laughs> <laughs> what other things can you say inside of take and tell? Like beside the timer, like what else makes more sense? Can you see like take and tell? Um, and take and tell you. You could do like a click on the document or something. Oh, let's see that. So do uh, import from event up here, and then on like line five uh, up top, say const doc clicks equals yeah, there we go equals uh, from events. And then open parens document comma click. Yeah, click as a string. No, it's just saying on the on the. Um, oh my god! Single quotes. Oh my I god! I know, I know, I know. It's just saying that like you're. Yeah, no, hold on. Just you gotta quotes. right here. So. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. So like you're saying that you're creating an observable using from event of click. So this is, you're just getting an observable of click events. Oh yeah, on the document, yep, that's right. You're the document's the whole thing. of click events on the document. But why is it click in this? Like, is it just a click event? It just Click has... is the name, That's yeah, that's the name of the event. That's a DOM thing. A okay, thing. so like, you're getting that from document. Yep. And that's just DOM. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go down here and we're going to say, wait, wait, where's, where's this twist? So yeah, you can just say, you can say take until um, dot clicks, yeah. So now it'll just spin until you click the document and then it'll start doing the next animation. I don't know why it's so amazing and exciting to me. <laughs> because making things move is fun. I know, this is hard. I mean, it's not hard. It's hard because I've, like, you've taught me so many things just now. Like, math.sign, math.cosign, this thing. So, sine and cosine are just a way of tricking it into doing this instead of just going in a straight line. So, when you pass a value to sine and cosine, as the value goes up and down, it the the sine and cosine hover between uh, one and negative one. Right. right. Yeah, like I know what a sine and a cosine is. Thank God for high school math. But okay, are we done? Can we put an angular at? Can we put it in the angulars? Can you put it in Can the angulars? Can we put it in the angulars? So the next, so the next hurdle you'd have that's even harder. Yeah. Is um. You've got two things. You want to do it only for a specific amount of time. I so want to do it until document click. More math. And, well, and you want it to go to a specific location, probably. More math. Okay, let's do it. I'm ready. All right, so let's Wait, just... Wait, are we done with this one? No, let's just continue to play here until Ugh. you know how to do it. Oh. Okay. Well then, I have to do drag and drop. No, oh, I just wanna, I just wanna do. So, like, what I wanna do is that. 
I want them all to be moving, like mm -hmm. little emojis to be moving. And then when you click on it, it stops and it does the drag and drop. I already have the drag and drop configured in Angular. They're moving and then you click on it. Okay, if you're going to do that, then you can do this. Yeah. If you just want them moving until you do something, then you can use these. Okay, but tell me what I was going to do that was hard. Let's do the hard thing first. Uh, moving for a specific amount of time or for or to a specific distance. So moving for a specific amount of time you already got, but moving like um, like a specific distance over time is, is more difficult. So in order to do that... Um, moving for a specific time. So if you say, I want you to go from point A to point B in five seconds, mm -hmm. or I want you to move from here to here mm -hmm. in, in three seconds. Oh, I want to do that, yeah. Okay, so let's go up to the top, and we're going to have to define a new function. Okay. It's or, So this is going to be an observer. We're probably going to have to import default. Why are you putting it up here and not down here? Because we're going to use it in other stuff. So this is a global. Right here, the stock bugs. Yeah, that one's one that we we can use elsewhere. Okay, what am I importing? Uh, you're gonna import defer right after from event. Okay, Mister. Like all the so these because these are all um, observable creation methods. Yeah. Okay, import defer. Got mm -hmm. it. Is merge an observable creation method though? Um, no, it's not. Is merge an observable creation method? Um. No. What's merge? And timer is not. What are these two? Yeah, they, these no, three? those those create observables. So all of right. these create observables? Uh, no, animation frame scheduler does not, but the other ones all do, yes. Okay, I'm ready. So, um, we're going to create a new function called... Wait, function. I'll just call it like duration or something. And then pass an argument to it called ms, like milliseconds. Uh, no, 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 no. We, yeah, that's fine. ms. And we're going to return inside of there, defer. And that then parens. And empty parens, arrow function. Yes, space around on the arrows. Yeah. And then open curly braces. And then basically we want to return inter this, this, inter this interval animation, zero animation frame scheduler. Why? Uh, because what, we're gonna, what we need to do is you need to figure out how much time is passed every time an animation frame fires. God, how does your brain even function? So go uh, in, right in front of interval and put a new line. And add, actually add a couple of spaces going off that, so I'm above it, and then say return. Uh, no, uh, interval, you want to return interval. Yep, and then go to the, after the parent after animation frame scheduler and do um, semicolon return. So we've got, it's gotten clunky over here. Go right, the first, yeah, semicolon, yeah, that was semicolon and then return. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, and then that needs to be tabbed back one. So close. That, that yeah, just tab it. Yeah, perfect. Um, right, you're, you're ideal right now. So right here on like line 10, say const start equals date dot time. I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just date dot now. And it's a method you call it. So I'm do friends. And then... Uh, semicolon because we're done. So that's just getting the millisecond timestamp from 1970 or whatever right now. So it's just like a timestamp. Mm -hmm. And then in here, right after um, this paren, mm -hmm. we want to pipe. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. We're going to pipe off the animation frame scheduler. Yeah, perfect. And then right there, we're gonna now we're going to map. And I'll explain what all this does in just a second. And we're going to map our... We've got a frame. And do we care about frame? Mm. No, I'm sorry, we don't care about frame. Do do uh just do empty prints and then arrow. And we're gonna say um 
do parens and inside the parens say uh, date time dot now. I'm sorry, date dot now. Um, minus start. Do I call it or no? No, just yeah. You gotta call date date now. Yeah. And then minus start. And then that is divided by ms. So the, the, actually, make sure that all of this is inside of the parens, and then outside the parens, you do divide it by ms. Right. So it's probably not for yeah. It's you. It's because you formatted it wrong. Okay, what did I? So okay. you didn't need to make new lines for the for that. So this is just math now. So you're doing like in parens a minus b divided by c, right? So all right. So here's what we're doing. We're saying duration of this many milliseconds. Return to me. It's going to return to you a brand new observable that when you subscribe to it records the timestamp of whatever is currently now, like the milliseconds right now. And then every time an animation frame fires, it says, "Oh, now take now and." subtract whatever it was before to see how many milliseconds have passed and divide that by the total duration. So that leaves So it. is start like just JavaScript or DOM or something? What's start? Start is just a number representing like a, a Oh sorry, time minus stamp start. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So we're basically we're saying here's where you started, here's where you are now, subtract it so we get the number of milliseconds that have passed total and divide it by the number of milliseconds that we want. What am I doing right here? Like, do I have any? You're missing. So go right after ms here, and then just no, 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 no. You got to do uh, comma new line close print. Why? Why do I have to have a comma there? Uh, because we're going to add one more operator. Oh. The new operator we're going to use is take while, which is different from than take until. Let's take while. Uh, I'll tell you in just a second. So take while, and we're gonna say n, just so just n or x or whatever you want to say, arrow function. So take you want to take it while n is less than or equal to one, not greater than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay. It looks so ugly. It looks like one and n are pointing <laughs> to n. Oh, yes. I'm pointing you. Um, all right, so here's what this is doing. Is this is saying um, get the milliseconds whenever you start, and then every time an animation frame fires, I want you to get the current milliseconds and subtract the start milliseconds, and then divide it by the total number of milliseconds. So basically, you're going to end up with this stream of values that are going from zero towards one. Mm -hmm. And this is saying only take them while uh, while that value is is zero to one. So basically. Well, when you hit what's n? N is um, the percentage of, of milliseconds that have passed of your duration. It's the percentage of your duration that's passed. Okay. So a per percentage by decimal, like percentage um, from zero to one. Get it? So this duration function is going to give us an, an observable of values between zero and one. One is when your duration is up, and zero is when it started. So like 0.5 is like halfway through your duration. Mm -hmm. Get it? Yeah. Right. So now we have this thing. <coughs> Wait, hold on. You have to explain this to me. So <laughs> I'm creating a function. I told you this was not easy. <coughs> I know. I didn't like believe you. Okay, so function duration. I'm creating a function called duration that I'm passing an argument call of milliseconds, right? Uh -huh. And then I'm returning defer, which is a new observable, right? Which is an observable. Mm -hmm. So I'm creating, I'm creating a new observable here, mm -hmm. right? And that new observable is like, oh God. So the new observable. When you subscribe to it. The new observable, when you subscribe to it, what? Records the number of milliseconds. The, the, it records a timestamp. Okay, so this is when it's recording the timestamp. Yeah. So immediately, 
immediately when uh, you subscribe to it, it's going to sit, it's going to create this start const that has date.now. Yeah, and date.now is the timestamp in milliseconds. Okay. And then I'm returning. So then that observable, is that right? That yeah. defer observable yeah. is returning another, is, wait, hold on, sorry, what's in it? Yeah, it's creating another observable, or it's so, returning another observable. So defer is basically, yeah, it, it, this is basically your deferred observable. The whole defer thing is just saying, whenever you subscribe, call this function, and then use this observable. So okay, this so is the call, real observable. Call this using. function. Yeah. So right here. At when you subscribe, yeah, it's take get the current. It's just stamp. that. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, now, now return. Now, re, now create another observable. Yeah, yeah. Now just use this observable. So it's like, okay, defer is just doing a time step, and then it's going. It's and then I'm just returning another one. Yeah. Okay, so this is an observable, and this is an observable. Yeah. But does this get merged into this observable? One observable. Yeah. Wait, this gets merged into this observable. Whenever this defer is just saying, wait, when you wait till a subscribe and then execute this function and then just use this observable. So you're subscribing to this ultimately. Oh my God. So what does defer do? Defer says, like, let's just say you have, you have this observable. Let's just say you forget this. You just have this observable. The interval observable. Right. You, you want to be able to record the moment that you've subscribed to this observable so you can see how long it's been right. since you subscribed. Right. So in order to do that, you wrap it in a defer and you record it then because this all this says is, hey, when you subscribe, execute this function and then hand the subscription over to this observable that I'm giving you. Okay, so when I use defer, I can like execute any function. Anything you want. Like yeah. I can execute all things and then I take all the things that I've executed and I hand it over to another observable. And that can be any observable. Right, yeah. So it could be like an, like the concat. I can use concat here if I wanted to. Yep. Okay, so what does interval do? So this interval is doing the same thing it did below, where it's saying oh, okay. this is an observable of animation frames. Okay. okay. And, and then we're mapping that observable of animation frames into... The amount that to, into the current timestamp minus the start timestamp, which, which gives you the number of milliseconds that has passed so far, right? Since it started, and then dividing that by the total number of milliseconds we want to okay, pass. Okay, so I have another question <coughs> with map, then, like, does this so then are you mapping into another observable? Technically, okay. And then your take while is creating another observable. So you're like passing an observable to another observable to another observable. Technically, I mean, but you can just kind of think of this whole body as just one observable. The interval and, one yeah. with a bunch of different operators. Okay, what does take while do again? Take while says allow all the values through until this condition is, is true. So basically, or, or, or while, as long as this condition is true. So basically, you're saying. As long as the values you're getting are less than or equal to one, allow them through. But the first one that, that is more than one, um, stop. Like So it's as long as it's more than one millisecond. No. So these aren't these aren't milliseconds anymore. Because remember I, I'm taking the total time passed and dividing it by the amount of time I want to pass. So you're gonna get a number between zero and one. Okay. So you're getting a percentage. Just like basic algebra like when you're doing uh, finances or something like that. It's like a percentage, um, a decimal base percentage. Instead, why am I, instead of why, zero why to 100, I it's zero to zero one. Zero less than one. So you're saying you want to... Oh, because it's like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, until it's 100%. Right. So if, if, if you do a duration of, of 2,000 milliseconds, so two seconds, right. after one second has passed, this observable is going to emit 0.5. Right, and the reason we do that is we don't know when animation frame can fire. It's non, non what they call non-deterministic. Um, it can fire whenever, mm -hmm. uh, depending on how busy the browser is. So, this um, bit of math here is just to figure out how long is, has it been. Divide that by the number of milliseconds we wanted to wait, and figure out how much time has passed. So we get a value between zero and one.
So this duration observable returns an observable that is always a value between 0 and 1, but only for the duration that we specified it. Okay, so this is why engineers take a lot of math classes. Probably. But so far, I took no math classes there. Then how do you know all this? I don't know. Like, literally, how do you keep this shit in your head? It just hangs out there, I guess. Okay. So, right. So now we have this duration <coughs> observable. Okay. And we never have to write it again. Okay. Uh, and what we can do is we want to move it, if we want to move it a specific distance. Uh-huh. Uh, let's just say what a specific distance. Your, it's our TypeScript thing. Yeah, yeah. Gonna animate it. So let's like on line seventeen. Oh God, yes. Say const move down equals move down. Move down. <laughs> move down. All right. Uh, equals and we'll do. I don't know duration. Uh, and then we'll. Pass to that 2000, so times 2000. Yeah. So, and we're not quite done yet, so that's going to give us this. And how far do we want to move it? Wait, duration is just JavaScript, right? Yeah. Yeah, the duration is this. The, the function is this. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So that's and this is an observable. observable. I'm getting an. I'm, oh, so this is getting me an observable. Of values between 1 and, and 0 and 1, right? Wait. I don't get why it's an observable. Because the function's returning an observable. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay. So let's go there and we'll do dot pipe. And we are, we are going to say, we'll call it P because it's the percentage of, uh, what will we call it? Let's call it T. Let's call it T. Because that's the, how, much, how much time has passed. And do an arrow. And then we'll do T times. Well, let's move it 300 pixels, so just say 300. And then, oh, 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 pipe is supposed to map. So pipe and then map. That whole function should be wrapped in a map. Sorry about that. And then go down and close your pipe. After, yeah. Close your pipe. Let's move down. So let's, uh, no, then after map. How can you all have to have pens in that? Uh, because it's an arrow function. Okay. Um, and it's just doing one thing. Yeah, it's just doing one thing. Okay. So then after the map, do a comma and we'll do a tap. And actually you can just comp copy line 30 basically because we're gonna we're gonna move its top. Okay. So that's oh that's our move down. So all this is saying is uh, for a duration of two seconds, I want you to move 300 pixels and we're gonna move we're gonna we're gonna basically even better for a duration of two seconds I want values between 0 and 300 and I'm going to apply them to top it's basically what this is doing so I'm just saying I'm only keeping it in between 300 pixels yeah, so let's go down to our coordination <clears throat> wait hold on you have to explain that to me again so I'm creating a new observable here from uh, the duration function. Yeah, so for, for uh, and I'm passing in the duration of two thousand milliseconds. Which is I two created seconds. that up here. Yeah. And then I'm mapping the observable okay. of all this. Yeah, you're mapping <clears throat> that percentage duration. I'm mapping the percentage duration to what? Like So those, that's giving us values between zero and one. So zero. Okay, right, this one, is giving us between so. zero and one, yeah. And then yeah. I'm, and you're, so you're just using that and multiplying it by the distance. So if you have a percentage of time passed and you multiply it by the total distance, you get a percentage of distance traveled. Mm -hmm. And then we're taking that, that uh, or rather, you, not, you don't get a percentage of distance traveled. You get uh, an actual distance traveled towards that ultimate goal of 300. And then we're just now taking that and applying it to top. Let's see it work. Okay. Let's see it work. Let's go down here. And here's what we'll do. Like after... Or, yeah, so after twist, mm -hmm. we just add in, move down. Move down dollar sign, yeah. Comma. All right, so twist, and then you got to click the screen at some point. And then it moved down to there, and then it starts animating. It jumped up 
because that's what our animation is telling it to do. It's not accounting for it's, it's starting current. at zero. Yeah, yeah, it's not accounting for its current position. How do you make it account for our current position? You have to record it. Now it's even more difficult. <laughs> So now what we'd have to do is wipe out all of these places where we're doing tap. Ugh, why? Uh, and we'd have to map to actions and do a Redux style thing. Because you have to maintain the state of where your where your thing is. This is we're we're now into we're adding another thirty minutes onto this. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> 30 minutes! Easily. All right, ready. <clears throat> so, um, here's what we're gonna do. Okay. I want you to select uh, this, these lines here that say tap. Wait, hold on, let me stop recording.